All right, that was interesting. That must have be the spider guy that they were talking about. Remember underneath the blighted village? In that one journal, they were talking about a drow captive and how they were doing experiments yes. with the spiders. That's that's definitely what they were talking about. So the cultists oh, yeah. blighted that village. So they went west, it looked like. Um, we can loot that goblin that he killed, see if they had anything on him. Maybe you can commune with that goblin. Maybe. I kind of want to track them a little bit. Oh, he has a lantern. Is it broken? No. I think it's just like a torch, but it looks different. It does a lot of damage, too. Does 7 to 13 damage. That thing does almost as much damage as my Faith Breaker hammer. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Can you see it? It's in the bottom right of my inventory. So weird. Can it be... Hold on, let me see something really quick. Let me... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's just another type of torch, I guess. It does some damage. That's cool. Yeah. You know what? That's great for you to have as your torch, because then if you get stuck with the torch on, you know, at least you don't have to waste an action to switch it. Yeah. Oh, there's a big ass chest here. Let's be quick. Yeah, I kind of want to track those guys down a little bit. Looks like they went down that path over there. I want to see what they're up to and potentially take whatever they're using that makes them immune because they have they had some type of protection from the curse. All right, I'm just picking this thing open. Scroll of flaming sphere, that's for Grim. Fire amber and 15 gold. That uh goblin wouldn't talk to us, huh? No. Look at this loaded ballista up here. Where at? Right above us. Uh, oh. Wait, that's aiming down the direction that they are. No. I kind of want to... I'm looking at a different one. Can we get up there? Moving. I kind of want to see if we can fire that at them. Despite everything. Oh, there's another one further down. It's aimed at a lower elevation. It's aiming straight at them. Ballista. Siege engines. A little old fashioned too. A hundred years? More? It's a hundred years or more old. I just passed a history check. I wonder if this could be used. I kinda hope so. They're pretty cool. Ah, uh, it says there's no path to get over there. Best be on my way. Well see, we got this one. Oh, there's a lot of corpses over here. And another chest. Um I'm on my way? It wasn't locked. Oh, okay. The dead of the Emerald Enclave. They lay here ever since their war against Catherick Thorn. Can you commune with skeletons or only corpses? No. Like flesh? No, it's it's corpses only. Oh, okay. If they get turned by this darkness, uh, you can't commune with them anymore. Because mm -hmm. they're considered undead at that point. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna drop down. No, this takes damage from here. I'm gonna go back the way we came. I was really hoping that that ballista would be able to shoot down on them. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I mean, I was really excited, and I'm just disappointed. At least we get plus 10 to stealth checks. I'm going to enter stealth, actually. I'm going to try and creep going. wherever these guys are. More for me. Oh, they're right there, just further up the trail. After that next root bridge. There's their, like, protection dome. I wonder if that protects them from attacks as well. Or just... No, it's just a light. It's, it's just light source. Oh, okay. 
So let's see how many of them there are. I see the spider guy and four guys with him. Two half-orcs and two goblins. Uh, Grim, do you want to be positioned over there on that hill? Or on that... That top? Or is that too far for you to shoot? I think it'll be fine. I'm just worried about them running straight to me and jumping up. The well, I mean, I'm... About. Me and... Me and Undead are probably going to go up the guts. So they should be focused on us. Really? And maybe he can bring... If it's super sketchy, he can bring his spirit weapon, maybe. Trying to see what level that spider is. Oh, he's level 6 only. But he's got 184 health. Light of the Absolute. Okay. So you're positioned over there. I got a starion over here. Sometimes on my way. Let's sneak right up them. Right up on them. Okay, we just lost pass without a trace. You gotta bring Darian closer. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna bring a starion. Yeah. I forgot that that was an aura. I mean, you should be fine. It's only when you, you're passing into the red when it's really concerning. We start rolling those dice. I can't waste any more time. I think I'm just going to open on this Betty. Well, let's let's check them out while we have the chance. Like walk in and see if there's dialogue or? No, I mean like examine them. I entered turn-based mode so that way they wouldn't turn around on us. Yeah, I'm examining them now. Moon shield, protected by the light of the moon lantern. The shadow curse does not affect this entity. So this guy's a fighter because he has extra attack and fast movement. Danger sense. Wolf. Oh no! Attack wounded target. This guy's a barbarian fighter combo because he has extra attack and wolf heart, which is a barbarian thing. Can multi-attack if its target has fewer than all of its hit points? That's pretty much all the time. That's so strong. Improved critical hit. So that's on which one? On Betty? No, that's on the big spider guy. Oh. Damn. I mean, I f I mean he's obviously going to be the strongest one, but I figured we should probably take out the weaker guys as soon as possible, just so they don't get turns. I would like to take out the goblins. The half-orc with the red rope has sculpted spells. He's going to cast wildly, because he's not going to hurt his friends. Do you think you can take him out as he can be your priority then? Yeah, we'll probably want to take him out quick. He'll just cast AoEs and he's not going to, he's only going to hurt us. Is it going to be a problem, us being right up in the mix, or do you have a lot of targeted spells? No, y'all are fine. I have, I have sculpted spells. I, I can cast whatever I want on top of y'all. Y'all will pass y'all's rolls and be unaffected. Unless I throw ice down, then that's a different story. Or gases. But direct Undead. damage and stuff, y'all are fine. Yeah. Do you have any potions you think that we should drink before going into this? Like, accuracy or heroism or any strength or anything like that or do you think we're good to just you don't think we need that stuff i mean i don't think this fight will be too crazy i just don't know how hard that spider's gonna hit i'm trying to Let's... see if i have anything worth because i have elixir of the colossus that i could drink what i'm thinking is we could drink some potions exit turn-based to let our bonus action come back while still having the effects of the elixirs, then re-enter turn-based and then do our opener, so that way we'll have full points. I think it will work that way. Sure. I'll try to oil, like, my blade. You know, Betty's gonna be hard to hit with ranged weapon or spells. Got danger sense. You ready? I want danger. Almost. Sense. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just switching to my ranged weapons. And I'm going to apply poison on them on a Starion. I was thinking too, I have I have cloud of dagger or scroll of cloud of daggers I could put in the mix of all of them. 
Well, I want to go. I want to go in there. Yeah, I'll probably wait before you throw that in, because they're gonna run, and you're not gonna know where they're gonna be. You know what I mean? Wait, it's it's yeah, best if you just like go and lock people down so they can't move without taking an attack of opportunity. And then we can like throw that circle down, and then we know they'll be in there for at least a couple of turns. All right, I drank my elixir of Colossus, so don't do anything just yet. I'm gonna exit turn base mode, and I'm gonna just see if I'm correct on this, so we know for the future as well. My theory is once we exit, if enough time passes, we'll get our bonus actions back. But is your your elixir it lasts for how how many turns, or is it permanent? It should be applied to your weapon. You'd have to go in your inventory and look at your weapon. Uh, yeah, 10 turns. So okay. keep an eye on that. Make sure it doesn't... You know, we don't waste it. I'm going to exit turn-based. Oh, okay. I have my point back right now. Do you have yours? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Oh my god. He almost killed me in one hit. That is nutty. I'm gonna have to help you. Um... All right, Grim. Your target is Consi Cons Consif. Yeah. Unturned. Keep me up. I'm gonna use a Starion to. I could do Cloud Daggers right now and catch all four of them. Yeah, but they'll move. That's the only downside. I can shoot multi-arrow. That was pretty fucking good. One guy down. Spider up my ass. What does he have now? He has phantasm? Or fanaticism? Allies deal an additional 1 to 6 psychic damage. Okay, um... Okay, he's poisoned. Damn, he saved his poison throw. Oh, they were... They were surprised. So they lost oh, their turns. Oh, let me go first before you go. Yep. See how much shit I can fuck up. Where you move. Oh, I can catch everybody. What? We're... Okay. Oh! Oh, we're good. We're good. It scared me. You <laughs> you act like this is the first time I've done this. You know how many AoE I mean, spells I've thrown on top of you? <laughs> there was fire literally encapsulating me. I thought it looked like we were on fire. That's why I was like, oh shit. No. I've sculpted spells, y'all. Y'all will be fine. I could throw whatever, almost anything I want on top of y'all. Y'all be fine. Now, if I wasn't evocation, yeah, y'all would be in some serious shit most of the time. That spider has sanctuary. We cannot harm him. What? He has sanctuary. That paladin spell? I don't know what he's getting it from. He didn't have that at the beginning, I don't think, because he, he is damaged. Maybe he can't be damaged with direct spells? Like he can't be targeted, but my multi-arrow ricocheted and hit him? Yeah, that's what it says right here. AoEs can still hit him. But I mean, we can't hit him, but he can't hit us. So if he hits us, well, he breaks out of Sanctuary. So it kind of works out a bit. All right, I'm going to shoot the archer guy. Damn. Oh my gosh, he hurts really bad. Just like old times. Yo, I just struck him for 28 damage. All 
Alright, I poisoned him. I am hurting for certain. He hits so fucking hard. But he's poisoned now, so he should have a harder time hitting, right? Yeah. Yeah. I need to start using poison more on Astarian. I'm using these dual... Holy shit. Oh, we saved. Yeah, that's... That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Him throwing AoEs on you. Oh, and yeah, he moves out of my range. What an asshole. Notify. Come to you. Oh, I leveled up. Or somebody leveled up. Killed that asshole over there. You love to see it. Yeah, that uh, that lightning bolt is so fucking good. Just a straight beam across the field. I'm gonna hammer this guy. He's itching for a fistin. I would use that, yeah. Because that's a big hit. 12 damage. Thank you, sir. Oh, you gotta be quicker than that, Mr. Spider. Oh, you wanna get reposed? Get slammed! Oh, 20 damage. Oh, yeah. None shall strike me without rebuke. Leave no trace. Oh, he's got Sanctuary again for some reason. Damn it. It's so weird why he gets that. I don't know what causes it. I'm not sure why he has Sanctuary. Do we just... Wait one turn for it to end? I'm not- where did he even get that from? Is it that Lantern giving him Sanctuary every now and then or something? I don't know. Oh, so you can still hit him with that. So I wonder if I put... Well, it's it's Acid Splash, so it's an AoE. So if I shoot an Acid Arrow underneath his feet, it should get him. Yeah, if it has Splash damage on it, it'll hurt him. I don't know if it actually does have Splash or not. Do, does it have a circle on underneath it? Oh yeah, two meters. Yeah, chuck it at his feet. If you don't kill him, I'm gonna throw some some acid at him. It's he's so big I can't like target the ground under him. Oh just make sure it's um your small circle is touching his red circle. I have blur, so hopefully he goes for me. I don't think he'll be able to hit me. Well, he's at a disadvantage. He'll probably strike undead. But you are bigger, though, so I think you're easier to... a little bit easier to hit. I drank that elixir of the Colossus. Oh, it also increases my carry capacity by 25%. Oh, you're about to get slammed. Oh, damn it. That sucks. Okay, he's on a Starion. Oh, <laughs> chill oh, out. That? I think he just wanted to get a Starion out of stealth. Oh, no. His sanctuary's not blocked. Brit? Oh, I shot him for 34. Oh, we got him. Hell oh, yeah. he's got a moon lantern. It's a real moon lantern. Oh, nice. Lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Yo. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. Yeah, it is a. These it's an Iron Maiden. These creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. 
Oh, please! Oh, golly me, oh my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Okay, so she wants to be released, but... They can be... Devious. What's Wait, this mechanism? No, 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 the mechanism at the baseline? might release her. Well, I'm just asking just what it is. Ask. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. this mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. It's probably you know on normal lanterns, it's the fuel <laughs> control. <laughs> Smash the lantern on the ground. <laughs> what the hell? No, we'll probably need the pixie for darker areas that we can't go to naturally. Yeah, oh, oh we can like in the house. house. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we we need the we need it. <laughs> Ignore the pixie. You'll be needing this lamp. I'll got you like a ten day old if you don't really wow. me right this moment. I will tap the bottom of that lantern so quick. My, you've changed your tune. If you prefer the kinder type, I'll sweetly slurp your guts like what? tripe. Oh my gosh. She's gonna <laughs> slurp your guts? Oh my god. <laughs> Ignore the pixie, keep the lantern. No, no, no. Her name's Dolly. What? Where'd that sword go? I don't know. Come on, don't do me like that. Uh, so, I've got it. This is my bottom right. It's, Yo, uh, I, you need I to be need a that drow real elf. bad. Well, you're Holy not a drow crap. elf, so you're not going to get that bonus. Yeah, but it does 9 to 26 damage for me. Hang on, let me see something real quick. Because I can dual wield that. Ooh. To put it I in perspective, that. my strongest weapon does 8 to 16. That thing does 9 to 26. It's in your bag. Boy, check it. Check out this uh, this short this get Yankee short sword. Hold on, a story a starian may like it. I have a key named Last Light Side Entry Key. Is that still the last light in? Why didn't it go on my keychain? Um, yeah, that's a bit odd. I don't know why it wouldn't go on your keychain. What did you say now, Grim? Look, check out what for a starian. Check my inventory. There's a Githyanki short sword a Starian may want. Um, it does five to ten damage to him or with him. Who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. Who fell when what? This skeleton. Oh, okay. Uh you can send that to him and I'll try it. And if it's not any, if it's not stronger, I'll send it back to you so you can sell it for gold. It's a pretty sick looking short sword. So let's see, it does five to ten. The one I have right now is one to six. Two to seven. Yeah, it does does more damage. The Emerald Enclave. They lay here ever since their war against Catherick Thorn. I found some gloves that give me heat. It's kind of like the electricity thing. Whenever you do fire damage, you gain two heat. We did level up, by the way, as well. Why is... Oh, can you raise this guy from the dead and talk to him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can maybe talk to him. I just want to try this real quick. It's going to burn me. Okay, never mind. The corpse seems willing to Oh, not to Rude. its killer. What now? Let's do our level ups. Oh yeah, nice. My power grows. Oh, level four spells. Nice, you got level four spells, that's awesome. Oh, oh. 
Blight, 8 to 64 damage. Hey, Grim. I get free, uh, freedom of movement. Snap an ally out of any stun. Difficult terrain can't slow them down, and they can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. That sounds pretty powerful. Oh, I got blink. At the end of your turn, roll a d20 on 11 or higher. You vanish into the ethereal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in the world. When you do vanish, your presence here is a representation of your location you'll come back to. You can choose to teleport to it up to six meters. That sounds a little confusing. I can take this spell of Goodberry if I... So you know how Astarian is multiclassed with Ranger? If I level up Thief one more time, I just get Persuasion and Deception times two. But if I level up Ranger, I get to pick two spells and I can take Goodberry, which I can conjure berries and give them to all of us. And you can have basically a free health potion on you at all times, essentially. It might be worth it. Evard's Black Tendrils. Tendrils sprout from the ground, turning the area into difficult terrain, attacking and smothering creatures within. We always can respec too, so keep that in mind. Ah, uh, the dimensional door. I could teleport people with me. Just so many. So what happens when you multi-class, when you level up? Like, do you get to pick which one you want to level? Yeah, since I'm a thief or I'm a rogue and a ranger on a Starian, when I level up, I get to pick. Do I want to make rogue level six or make ranger level two you get to pick which one you want to do and then if you pick one or the other you get none of the benefits of the other class level up but all of the benefits of the one that you pick so if i pick ranger my health will increase to 54 i'll get a level one spell slot and i get goodberry and hailthorn or any other spells that i want but those are the two that i would take if I pick Rogue, my health goes to 53, so the health increase is the same because it's still up to a level. Uh, it's still up a level. But the only thing I gain is Deception and Persuasion times two. Hmm. You can also add more classes. Holy shit. You can, tr you can add as many classes as you want. Like, I could pick a third class to, act, to add to him if I wanted to. I don't think that's wise because you're going to spread yourself really thin, but you you definitely can. All right, I leveled up a Starian. I'm now going to level up Voidlock. And I get to pick two more maneuvers. I don't think I want to take Sweeping Attack. Because it doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. I do so much more on single target.
So I'll take precision attack and I'm trying to think of what other maneuver that commander's strike sounds really interesting. I just don't know if it'll be good in the long run. Spend an action and a reaction to direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally immediately uses their reaction to make a weapon attack. I just don't know if that's, especially with Undead having that shield rebuke, I'm not sure if Commander Strike is worth it anymore then because it would, cons if I use it on him, it would consume his reaction and he wouldn't be able to use that shield anymore. I mean, that's if you're like casting it like every turn. It's more of like a situational, like someone's almost dead. Instead of him using him coming around to his turn again, and killing him, you could just do it for him, right? By directing him. So it'll just be like kind of those situations, which I think those kind of situations will appear more than usual. All right, I'm going to take menacing attack. Awesome. 